pops. If you want to hear how incredible this one compound from the herb or plant hops is, you'd be blown away. Let's just start off. To start off with, if you had something that could lower bad cholesterol by 80%, can lower insulin levels by 42%, and reduce inflammatory markers by 78% within 12 weeks, that would get your attention, especially if you're looking at a new drug or new drug development. But let's get right into the, the research here, because it, it's fascinating. Compound from hops lowers cholesterol, blood sugar, and weight gain. The compound is called xanthoumol, improves dysfunction, glucose, and lipid metabolism, and diet-induced obese mice, and that's the citation title. And it was published in the Archives of Biochemistry, Archives, Archives of Biochemistry and Biophysics, this April 2016. Now let's get right into the, the results of the research and then how the researchers speculate that this compound, xanthoumol, may actually work. Compared to animals given none of this supplement, the highest dosage of xanthoumol given to laboratory rats cut their LDL, or bad cholesterol, 80% their insulin level 42% and their level of IL-6 or delucid 6 biomarker of inflammation 78% within 12 weeks. Now, xanthu, uh, xanthoumol is found naturally in hops and beer, but the highest levels used in the research was 60 milligrams per, per kilogram. The cool part about this is it actually gives a dosage that they believe is required to get these type of results. 60 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day that, that corresponds to a human equivalent dose of 350 milligrams per day for a 70 kilogram pound person. For those not too good at the metrics, it's about 154 pounds, which far exceeds any amount that could be obtained by ordinary dietary intake. Yet if you want to get your up the xanthoumol from beer, they claim it would require 3,500 pints per day, which I'm sure some of you may have tried. However, is it safe? The study for the first time also identified one of the mechanisms of, of action in xanthoumol. It appears to decrease plasma levels of PCSK9, a protein that plays a role uh, in cholesterol levels, lowering levels of PCSK9, should increase the clearance of LDL cholesterol from blood. That's how they speculate how it works. Safety profile, now keep in mind, this study was done in animals. It has to be done in humans to want to verify the incredible results that the researchers are claiming. Work is still needed to further demonstrate the safety of high doses of xanthoumol, but dosages 50 to 30 times higher than we use already have been given to animals with no apparent problems. So an incredible substance which is going to affect cholesterol, insulin, and inflammation, or I should say bring it down, from a very common substance, hops, and also at this point in time appears to be very safe. Looks like it's right over the horizon. Again, this is Ralph Church Channel signing off, and I really do hope you find this information useful, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.